Beat Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Street Smarts, the show where people try to prove how brainy they are by predicting how bird-brained other people can be. <laughs> now, I've traveled the country talking to average Americans and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got their head on straight and who's a few wontons short of a poo-poo platter. And speaking of players, let's meet them. Hello, Alicia. What's up, Alicia? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. It's winner take all in Street Smarts. So that means only one of you will be walking away with the cash. That's right. Now, let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. I began my travels in New Orleans, where Richard shared a couple of ways to creep people out. How you doing, Richard? Pretty good. Now, what do you do down here in New Orleans? Well, I work at a restaurant, have a good time, play in a van. I go into cemeteries late at night and play violin and creep people out. Now, Richard, do you have any unusual talents or hobbies? Uh, I drive a hearse. I make dead body parts. Oh, you make dead body parts? Yeah. I make exact replicas of skulls and stuff like that. Out of what? Well, it's secrets, but I use latex <laughs> and paint and stuff like that. All right. Well, that's Richard. All right. And after some trivial questions, I just ha had to know how Tiffany gets her hair so curly. <laughs> Tiffany, what do you do here in Tempe? Go to school. ASU? Yeah. And what are you going to school for? Business communications. Tiffany, what's your favorite movie ever? I'd have to say The Princess Bride. Oh, that is a very good movie. Yeah, that reminds me of when I was a little girl. Oh, okay. And uh, how do you make your hair that curly? Um, it's just get out of the shower and mousse it. A lot of mousse? Um, about a can and a half? Just, just about um, a dollop. You know what a dollop is? <laughs> yeah, a dollop. That's that little sign. A dollop, yeah, okay. exactly. All right. Thank you. Finally, I met Blair, who's on a mission from God. So Blair, where are you from and what are you doing in Boston? Um, Dallas, Texas, and uh, we're here on a mission trip with my church. Right, and tell, tell us about your group. Uh, we, uh, there's a little over hundreds of us, and uh, we're singing and uh, lifting the name of Jesus in the city. What's the best concert you ever saw? I'd have to say Metallica. <laughs> yeah. If you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? Oh, de definitely Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh, you like Catherine Zeta. But you know, she's taken by Grandpa Michael Douglas there. That's okay, I'm young, I'm quicker than him. Right, you probably <laughs> wouldn't <laughs> Is a good thing. All right, anyway, it's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice in a correct guess for you 100 bucks. Very nice. Okay, guys, put on your thinking caps. All right, here's the first question I asked to Richard, Tiffany, and Blair. In what city is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? What do you guys think? Who knew it? What do you think? Whoa, God, be careful there, Alicia. All right, Giva. Oh, my, look at her. Jeez. My God, my head's spinning. Who do you guys think? Okay. Oh, oh okay. You're both locked in? Sorry, yes, okay, sir. we got a Blair and a Tiffany. Very nice. And uh, why do you think Blair, Alicia? Uh, Blair looks like he's a little smarter than the other two. Okay. He's got the, uh, he's going with the religion right. thing. Let's see if we can get you 100 bucks. Take the lead. In what city is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Italy. And that's the town it's in? City? The country, and the city is Pisa. Okay. He got it right! Way yes. to go, Alicia! 100 bucks for you! You're off the right. Now, Giovanni, you think Tiffany's gonna know? I'm gonna say she knows. Okay, let's take a look. In what city is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Um... New York City. It's in New York? Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, that's Giovanni, right. that's an incorrect that's answer. Right. You're that's not on the board answer. yet. Alicia's got a slight lead here. Okay, guys, here's the next question. Uh, in the 70s, Erno Rubik invented a popular puzzle. What was it called? Who knew it? Do you think it was Richard, oh, yeah. Tiffany, or Blair knew this one? Giovanni, you can try to get oh, back in the game here. All right, you're both locked in. Yes. You both have Richard. Giovanni, you think Richard's going to know this one? I think he's going to know. All right, he looks and, and, old enough to know. And Alicia, you also think so, Yeah, right? I agree. His okay. age, yeah. You guys both have Richard. Let's see if we can get you guys some money. Come on, Richard. In the 70s, Erno Rubik invented a popular puzzle. What was it called? Rubik's Cube. Coming through. <laughs> Did you play Rubik's Cube? I used to take it apart and mix all the colors together and put it back together. It's, you, like, I used to peel the stickers off to get all one side. Oh, yeah. I tried that, too. <laughs> all right, you both have Richard. You got it right. Way to go, Alicia and Giovanni. Giovanni, you're on the board. Alicia, got a little lead going here. All right. Here we go, guys. Last question in the round. Bobby Fischer was America's first grandmaster. What game did he play? 
Who knew it? What do you guys think? You think it was Richard, Tiffany, or Blair? Oh. Giovanni goes backwards. Alicia goes forward when they're rolling. Oh, okay. oh my God, I'm getting dizzy. Right. Did she, Alicia? All right. Okay, you guys are locked in. You're both. You both think Richard. Giovanni, you think Richard again? I think Richard. If he knows Rubik's Cube, he knows. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can get you guys Mind on the board. Yeah. Richard, Bobby Fischer was America's first grandmaster. What game did he play? Fish. He played. He was fish. <laughs> Bobby Fischer was a fish. Fisher. Um, he played cards and he played fish. He played cards. Exactly. What yeah. game did he? What was his game? Uh, fish. He played. <laughs> yeah. He played go fish. Uh, yeah. He was the go best fish. at that. Yep. I'm sorry, Richard did not know the answer that time Richard. for you guys. Now, for the correct Richard. answer, you know who we're gonna check in with? Tiffany. Oh my yeah. God. Bobby Fischer was America's first grandmaster. What game did he play? Chess. <laughs> there you go. How'd you know that? Um, you a big chess fan? Yeah, actually, um, from the time I was little, I'd spent all my Friday, Saturdays um, playing chess, um, you know, perfecting something that I thought was a very intellectual game. Just, you know, trying to become a better person through my mastery of chess. <laughs> all right. Are you still, do you still play chess? Um, no. <laughs> See, Tiffany got that one. All right, guys, let's recap the scores. Alicia, $200, very nice. Giovanni, 100 bucks. Forget about it. We're still on this game. Don't go away. We're going to see who are the pawns in our Street Smarts Game of Chess when we return. So if you were granted three wishes by a genie, what would be your first wish? Um, to be on Street Smarts. <laughs> Dreams do come true, John. <laughs> Street Smarts, it's time to meet our players. Now, Alicia, I understand you're double jointed. Yes. Yeah, and you're gonna show us, do, you're gonna do something for us, aren't you? Oh yeah, yeah. yes okay. I am. All right, let's see this. Actually, I can uh, bring this around my, over the top of my hey. head without bending my elbows. Okay, go ahead. Okay, here we go. Scary. Oh my oh. God. Oh. Oh. Yeah, stop. Yeah. Right. Okay, now, now, speaking of thin, now, speaking of things that kind of make you do that, he'd be Jeebies. Giovanni, where'd you used to work? I used to work at the L.A. County Morgue. Nice. Yeah. And I was the assistant to the coroner. I used to wash dead bodies, right. oh, yeah. photograph dead bodies and wrap right. them up. And the best part oh. of my day was going home every night, watching the news and say, hey, I washed that I dead washed body that dead today. Body. Nice. Check out the ladies. All right. Okay. All right. It's time, to get, it's time to get your second wind as we enter our next round. Who blew it? This time we're the same question. Only two of our sidewalk savants. One answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Alicia or Giovanni correctly identifies which scholar tanked the question, they get 200 bucks. All right. Now in this one, you guys can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap sitting in front of you. Here's how it works. When you hear a question you think will stymie your opponent, whack the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get the $200. Now remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely, guys. All right. Okay, here's the first question I asked to both Richard and Tiffany. What band does guitarist Eddie Van Halen play for? <laughs> Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Richard or Tiffany? I'm uh, sure. Uh, Who blew it? Alicia's. Oh. Yeah. Who blew it? Who blew it, Alicia? <laughs> okay. All right. You're both locked in. You both. You both have Tiffany. Uh, okay. Alicia, you think Tiffany blew this? Yeah. Tiffany looks a little flighty. I don't know about that she hair. I don't think thing, she knows that. Man. Okay. Let's find so. out. <laughs> what band does guitarist Eddie Van Halen play for? Um. Aerosmith. Place for Aerosmith. Yeah. And the lead singer is Steven Tyler. Guitar player is? Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. Eddie. Excellent. She I blew. You blew that Tiffany. Way to go. Each gets two hundred dollars. Correct answer is, where's the card? Van Halen. Well, okay. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. sure about that one. Who knew that? <laughs> okay, guys. Here's a question yeah. I asked to Tiffany and Blair. I asked them, who is Toucan Sam? Oh. Oh, Alicia. That's Giovanni. Oh. The $200 will go to her, but if you get it right, you get the 200 bucks, she's gonna sport the cap. I'm gonna read the question, you got five seconds. Who is Toucan Sam? He's the bird on the Fruit Loops. Yeah! It's a correct answer, way to go. 200 bucks for Giovanni, nice job, buddy. Put the cap on her, and you, uh, you take the lead, very nice. All right, guys, now the task at hand is, who blew it? Do you think it was Tiffany or Blair? Oh, what do God. you guys think, Please. Tiffany or Blair? I'm Alicia, you look very nice in that cap. Yeah. Why a thousand times? All right, okay. <laughs> All right, you're locked in. We got a Blair, we got a Tiffany. Giovanni, you're going with Tiffany. I'm going with Tiffany. Yeah, you think she blew it? I don't think she eats that kind of cereal. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> Tiffany, who is Toucan Sam? Toucan Sam is a bird. Uh, what's he known for, Toucan? 
He's on the front of Fruit Loops boxes across America. Okay, the thing with Fruit Loops is, I hate it when, like, you eat, I, I hate it when the colors aren't even. Right. So my last bite always has to have all five different colors. <laughs> or it's not I do that same thing. You, you gotta have a yellow, orange, green, and yeah. red one. Uh, and then you can't decide which to eat first. <laughs> Giovanni, I'm sorry, <laughs> Tiffany got that right. She knew, buddy. Got screwed on that question twice. Now, Alicia, let's check in with Blair. Come on, Blair. Who is Toucan Sam? Guy with two cans. <laughs> Toucan Sam, two cans. Right. Did you ever eat Fruit Loops? Oh yeah, two cans. Sam's yeah, he's the bird guy, yeah, the bird. Right. Yeah. You said it was some guy with two cans. Yeah, I, I, met, I missed, I messed up, you know. <laughs> hey, boy, way to go, Alicia! Oh! Nice shot. You retake the lead. Way to go. She's very excited. All right. Um, next question, guys. Last one in the round. Here's a question I asked to Richard and to Blair. What was inside the Trojan horse? Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Richard or Blair blew this one? Oh my God, Alicia, it's spazzing. <laughs> my God, okay. Easy on that thing. All right, you're both locked in. You're both going with Richard. Alicia, you think Richard blew this? I, you know, Richard, he, he knows the rock and roll stuff but, okay. and the U Rubik's Cube, but he won't know that. All right, let's find out. What was inside the Trojan horse? Uh, troops waiting to kill. I think maybe Greeks. Oh yeah, okay. And what were they, who were they were gonna kill? Oh boy, um, the enemies. Okay. <laughs> I hate, I hated uh, history. You, know, you didn't like that? Uh, no. Nah. He got it right. He both, you guys both had Richard. He got it right. I'm sorry. It looks like uh, looks like our friend Blair is the one to blow it. I'm sorry, guys. No money on that question. Let's recap the scores. Alicia, $600. Nice lead. All right, Giovanni, 500 bucks. It's good scratch. Don't worry. You're still in it. Now that our players think they know these thoroughbreds, we'll see who they choose to ride when we come back. How do you do a jumping jack? He wants to see me jiggle. I didn't write the question. Show me how you jump on a trampoline. No. Okay, I'm joking. I, that's really not a question. <laughs> Welcome back. It's post time on Street Smarts, and that means it's time to saddle up and pick your pony. This time, Alicia and Giovanni will each choose one of the three road scholars for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is now worth 300 bones. And to keep you on your toes, we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round. Only this time it's worth 300 bucks. Cool. Now remember, there's only one remaining in the game, guys, so uh, it could be big. we got a tight game here, 600 to 500. Now, the player who's trailing first, Giovanni, that's you. Who would you like to giddy up on? I'm going to ride Richard. You're going to ride Richard? All right. You got the morgue connection, the dead body thing. Alicia, how about you? I'm going to go with Tiffany. You're going to go with Tiffany. Very nice. All right. Okay, our first question to Richard, Giovanni, was... What did people scream when OJ ran through the airports in those rent-a-car ads? Oh, man. You think he got it right or wrong? What do you think, Giovanni? Oh, I think he got it wrong. You think he got it wrong? Yes, he got it very wrong. Okay, let's find out. 300 bucks on the line. What did people scream when OJ ran through the airports in those rent-a-car ads? Uh, he's guilty. <laughs> <laughs> he was like running for a rent-a-car and they were all screaming. Uh, get him, he's guilty. <laughs> Nice job, the correct answer, go OJ, go. It's not the juice is loose, all right. Okay, Tiffany, uh, or Alicia, here's the first question to Tiffany in this round. I asked her, when would you need a stud finder? Think she got that right? Oh my God, Giovanni has got you. Throw the cap on her, Alicia. $300 on the line, I'm gonna read the question again. You've got five seconds to answer it. When would you, when would you need a stud finder? When you are, uh... Doing a rail, Two seconds. a rail track? A railroad track? It's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Alicia. 300 bucks to Giovanni. Nice job, buddy. All right, now, Alicia, the question is to uh, Tiffany. Do you think she got it right or wrong? You think she got it wrong? I think she got it wrong. You're just mad because you didn't get it That's right. That's right. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> when would you need a stud finder? A stud finder? When you're trying to find the man of your dreams. <laughs> Did you need a stud finder? No, I found him. Here I am. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. Way to go. You said she get it wrong. You had enough wrong there. Myself. Nice job. We got a good Save game. The myself. correct answer, when drilling into a wall. A stud yeah. finder. Railroad oh, track. That was cute. That. No, you didn't. Okay, all right. <laughs> Giovanni, here's a question to Richard for you. Yes, sir. What is caviar? Do you think he got that right or wrong? He likes fish. He, he likes got it right. <laughs> he got it right. Yes, all right. sir. You were paying attention to the fish thing. Let's find out. What is caviar? Caviar is fish eggs. I hate them so much. 
<laughs> That's pretty disgusting. <laughs> you got it right, Giovanni. Another three hundred dollars for you. Nice. You're opening up the lead here. Way to go. Okay, Alicia. The next question to Tiffany was, Why wouldn't you be pleased if you won an award posthumously? Do you think she got that right or wrong? Wrong. She got it wrong. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can make the game tight. Let's find out. Why wouldn't you be pleased if you won an award posthumously? Because that would mean you won it by cheating. By you cheating? Didn't, you didn't win it the honorable way. You should win an award. Actually, it means uh, you're, you're dead. Oh, my God. It means you won the award and you were dead. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you don't win your award for the show. <laughs> Just kidding. I boozed it up and slept with many women and caught something and died. <laughs> then you get your award. <laughs> my passion. <laughs> yeah. She got it wrong. We got a close game here. Nice job, guys. All right, next question to Richard for you, Giovanni. Yes. You're up by 200 bucks here. You can extend the lead with uh, this prediction if you get it right. What are you doing if you're at home convalescing? Do you think he got that right or wrong? What do you think? Oh, oh he got it wrong. So Very wrong. One. Think he got this wrong? He got it wrong. All right, let's take a look. 300 bucks on the line. What are you doing if you're at home convalescing? Convalescing? I guess I'm arguing with my wife or something. Arguing with your wife. Are you married? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you argue with your wife a lot? When she makes me. <laughs> what is it usually over? Me being drunk. Right. <laughs> hey, yeah. Way to go, Giovanni. Another three hours for you. The correct answer, it's a tough one. Um, regaining your health. Regaining your health. Interesting. Right. Okay, all right, Alicia. Last question of the round. It goes to you for Tiffany. Who scored points with his famous checkers speech? Do you think she got that right or wrong? What do you think, Alicia? Oh, you need man. this money. I'm going to go with wrong. You think wrong? All right. Tiff got it wrong. Okay, let's take a look. 300 bucks for you if you did. Who scored points with his famous checkers speech? Um, <laughs> uh, Chubby, Chubby Ch Checker? Chubby Checker. Yeah. He sang what song? Let's Twist Again. Right, and that was his famous speech because he was talking about that song. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Alicia. Another 300 dollars for you. The correct answer, uh... Richard Nixon. Did everyone, Richard Nixon, checker speech, that was his dog's name. All right, let's recap the scores. Giovanni in the lead, 1,700 bucks. He was trailing, now he's the man. Alicia, $1,500, don't worry. The dice caps hurt you, but you're still in it. Now, when we return, Alicia and Giovanni will be making a final prediction on a question I asked her, Richard, Tiffany, and Blair. They'll each choose one of the asphalt Einsteins, predict whether they'll get it right or wrong, and make their last wager. Here's the question I asked all three. Finish this saying, give them an inch, Okay, all right. Only one person will survive our final round. The wager of Find out when we return! Come on! Here we go, guys. Welcome back. Call the fire department because one of these guys is about to get smoked in our final round, The Wager of Death. Right. Now, Alicia and Giovanni, during the break, you did three things. You secretly chose one of the three people in the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Looking at the totals, Alicia, you got 1,500 bucks. Giovanni's got 1,700 bucks. Small lead. Now remember, only one of you will escape with any cash, which means it all comes down to this final question. And here's the question I asked Richard, Tiffany, and Blair. Finish this saying. Give them an inch. Okay, all right, now, let's see, Alicia, you're trailing. All of it rides on this last question. Whose clip do you want to see? You're going to go with yeah. Tiffany. Very nice, Giovanni. What about you? You got a slight lead here. You also want to see Tiffany. All right, nobody picked Richard or Blair, so we're going to say bye to them. You both have uh, Tiffany. This is a very important clip. This is the only one we're going to show. Let's see what she says. Finish this saying, give them an inch. And they'll take a mile. All right. She got that right. That's the right answer. Give it an inch, she'll take a mile. Now, Alicia, you got $1,500. You're trailing right now. You took Tiffany. Did you say right or wrong? You said wrong. How much is that going to cost you, Alicia? I know it. $1,500. Bust her down to zero. All right, Giovanni, you're in, the, you're in the driver's seat here. You got $1,700. You said she'd get it wrong. How much of your $1,700 is that going to cost you? $1,700. Then. <laughs> the money. I'm going to take the audience out to lunch. I don't know. It's the money we saved. Oh, God, I'm in trouble. I'll